Okay, so now what we're going to do is talk about the way that skeletal muscle is organized. As you saw before, there is a myosin that's going to be centered, okay, in the middle of the sarcomere, and then you have actin, which is going to be at the periphery of the sarcomere. Okay, so here's our myosin, and we have two actin on the sides. When we look at this, we can see that there's distinct areas of the sarcomere, okay? This area right here in the center, from the tip of actin all the way to the tip of the actin on the other side is called the H zone. And it contains myosin only. If I move a little bit further out from the tip of myosin, okay, including part of actin here, to the tip of myosin on the other side, that is called the A band. It's called A for area of overlap. And you can see that this contains actin and myosin. But then the part, okay, from the tip of myosin toward the end of the sarcomere, this is the I band, and it contains actin only. And you'll see these at the ends of the sarcomere. Okay? During contraction, when the filaments begin to slide, the actin will move in toward the center of your sarcomere. And when they move to the center, you can see that the H zone and the I bands have gotten much smaller. So a simple way to remember that is when the filaments begin to slide, hi is a shorter version of hello. The H and the I get smaller.